Hello beautiful creatures, welcome to my channel. I am Aradia Arcanum and I hope you guys are all doing well and for those of you who are returning here, thank you for coming back. And if you are new here to this channel, please do consider subscribing and give a like if you enjoy this content and want to watch um, or see future videos to come. So in this video, I will be talking about the next tool of the craft in, in this series, the uh, beginner basics of the craft. So I want to talk about the cauldron. So if you want to hear more about the cauldron, please do stick around. Um, so let's go. So I have here one of my cauldrons. Um, it's one of the smaller ones that I have. They come in several sizes. Um, and this is cast iron, which they typically are made of. Um, what the cauldrons are used for is generally to burn things in. So if you just want to burn some incense, you could place that charcoal on um, that I talked about in the one of the previous uh, videos here. Um, you can take that charcoal disc and burn your incense or your resin within this cauldron so that it can burn safely. And whatever you burn in your cauldron, it gets really, really hot as this is cast iron. So you want to make sure that it is sitting on a safe surface. And another thing that I like to use my cauldron for is when, you know, when you're doing a ritual to release and you write those things down and you want to burn that piece of paper, you can burn this in the cauldron. And I would advise that you go outside and do so because it can be very smoky and a dangerous thing to do uh, indoors. So the cauldron is generally used as a tool to uh, burn your items in. And it is, I, I just love it, first of all, because I guess of, you know, what it represents. Like when you look back in history and you see pictures of a, a grandma brewing a stew in the cauldron, Oh, you see the pictures of the witches around the cauldron <laughs> just brewing up a potion. Uh, so this just keeps me in the mind of things like that. So it's kind of uh, nostalgic for me to have a cauldron and also useful because I'm forever burning something in this cauldron. And what you can do is when you finish burning things, you have the leftover ashes. So what um, a lot of people do with these ashes is make black salt. So I will put that recipe in the description um, area of this video. So you wanna take the ashes and uh, blend it with salt. And you will have yourself a potent black salt because these are the ashes from um, burnings of rituals uh, just even if it's just you burning something to bring about a certain atmosphere in your home that is beautiful energy because it is um, igniting um, a beautiful atmosphere so you want to take all of that energy from the ashes and create your black salt because it will lend a, a, a stronger power to it you can also brew potion potions within it and I would advise that if you're going to do so to have separate cauldrons one for your uh, dry things that you're going to burn and one for uh, potions that you will be creating that are to be consumed. Now one of the reasons for that is if not treated properly the cast iron it can be poisonous to to uh, if mixed with certain foods and certain herbs um, and you don't want that to happen 
so you want to be safe you know safety first as I always say in all my videos so if you are making a potion that is to be consumed please keep in mind one that this cauldron is only used for that purpose and two that the cast iron is treated properly it is the same way that if you have if you're old school like me you have a cast iron skillet in your home you it is treated uh properly so that that iron does not affect your food so you might want to do some research and look up some videos that tell you how to treat cast iron if this is how you're going to use it so that is what I wanted to share with you on one of the tools of the craft. If you have any more or any concerns or questions or ways that you would like to share how you use the cauldron, please do share in the comments. I would love to hear about it because I'm always um, looking to have new ways introduced into my practices on how it is that I use uh, certain uh, magical tools of the craft. And uh, please stay tuned for the rest of this series. Um, I have several that I have put out there just to uh, kind of give some knowledge, just basic knowledge you know about uh, certain tools of the craft that um, you will find in the most spiritual homes, most witchy homes, and even in uh, that old southern home where you have your grandma cooking in the cauldron in the kitchen. So why not have a cauldron in your home? You have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, or night whenever it is that you're watching this and wherever it is that you are watching this. I love you all into the shadows.